The lives of young children move quickly as they develop and grow. But have you ever stopped and really looked at how they are thinking, how they make meaning of the world around them? If you look closely, young children from birth learn from exploring their environment and testing their theories. However, they are not doing this alone. Children need early childhood educators who see themselves as researchers and are willing to wonder alongside them as they explore their questions. This is STEM, and research indicates that children's early experiences with science, technology, engineering, and math are shaped by the adults around them. STEM is not just providing activities in the areas of science, engineering, math, or the use of technology. It's really this approach to learning in early childhood that honors children's questions, that honors their interests. So not only do we look at children as capable learners, that they're drivers of their own education and we're there just to nurture that, expand on their interests, and really provide a safe place for them to dig deep in things they're curious about because this is how children make meaning of the world. We try to keep it as open-ended as possible. We try not to lead them until we can see that they might have a question in their mind and we pose them questions. I wonder what will happen if we do this. So the implementation of STEM right now in my classroom look like the children lead the process of learning. So that totally changed my perspective of teaching. Like, okay, now I need to be more focused on what they want what they like to, to learn. Now I allow children to wonder about things, like make them think what will happen if, if this happened? What will happen if we do this in this way? Let's try it. You would never think of not talking to a baby for six months or a year or two because we know from the research that that speaking and them hearing verbal language is so important for their development. The same can be true of their mathematical thinking. If they're hardwired for these precursor math skills and we don't nurture that and talk about it and provide them environments where they can explore those concepts, then we're really doing a disservice to their development. And I think that was one of the biggest aha moments for all of us, that we really do need to nurture these natural curiosities. Although children engage in STEM every day, if we're not there to nurture it, expand it, set up the environment to create new experiences for them, they're not going to create those critical skills of problem solving, of cooperative play and, and cooperative problem solving, of critical thinking skills. We're finding that it's building a community as we explore things that all the children are interested in together and we're finding them working together more. We do a lot more of uh, listening to children, taking their ideas, seeing myself as more of a researcher, um, more of a person who is guiding them. These are things that we're already doing. These are things that the children have already started to do. We're just purposefully adding them into our classroom. It's something that is a great satisfaction when you see children learning and making their, their learning process be more meaningful for them and their families. So be, see that in the classroom is the best satisfaction that you can have as an educator. So I, I will say try it. It's just made my job as a teacher much more interesting. Teaching STEM is the exploration of the curious mind that's already there and it's the intent to discover instead of just being told what to do or how to do it. For teachers and administrators looking to integrate STEM into early childhood, view STEM as an approach and teachers as researchers who intentionally plan the classroom environment, the questions they ask, and the materials they introduce.